Hello again everyone, and this is Akoto, welcoming you back to the next episode of All the Mod 7, and today we're actually going to work on a couple of different things, one of which is, we need food. So, we need a solution for that, so let's go ahead and get going. So as you can see, we've sort of worked on this area quite a bit in between episodes, simply because I wanted to get some stuff cleared out and get some crops down because we're, like, way low on food. I, I'm sort of scraping the bottom of the barrel for food here. You notice I've made a whole bunch of tea, I've got some cooked fish, but that's really it. And the other thing you're going to notice, something I didn't mention in the other episodes, was take a look down there. You see anything different? It's autumn now. So basically it's fall, so you have all these really just gorgeous fall colors on all of the oak trees down there. So rather than just green, you've got that, that umber color, which is it's just it's very, very beautiful. I really like the, the changing colors of the trees here. Now obviously the redwoods don't change because they're redwoods, but if you look over here, the same thing's going on in this birch forest off to the side as you've got that the yellowy gold of the birch leaves, the different hues for the different biomes, it's just very pretty. But because the seasons change, certain things don't grow very well in each season. So like right now, wheat is growing like gangbusters. The pumpkins that I actually found over here are starting to come in a little bit. But other stuff, not so much, like tomatoes, rice, black beans, those don't grow very well. So I wanted to get them down and plant it just so that they'd grow at least a little bit here before, you know, all said and done. And as you can tell, I actually worked on our farming area. I remember how I mentioned I was going to go after this sort of tiered farming approach, very similar to like the old Aztec tiered farming on here. Well, I went ahead and put it in. Uh, I was going to do it on camera, but since I was running so short on food, I decided just to get it plopped in. We're using Deep Sleek because I've got a ton of it and I really like the way the bricks look for the different tiers to split them up. And this is th this is a real thing, by the way. This is what this is how the Aztecs, uh, Aztec farming, if you go look uh, historically, since they didn't have a whole lot of arable land, and it was a very mountainous region in places like Peru, what they did was they actually made these sort of terraces down mountains like this. Now, obviously I'm sort of building these out in the middle of nowhere, because you can see the water just sort of goes down there, but we're going to solve that problem a little bit later here in the episode. So we're going to sort of sculpt the mountain out a little bit on each side just so we've got it so that it sort of makes more sense. So I want to base my diet on something a little bit different than I have in the past because there's certain foods with Croptopia especially that are very simple and I'm sure I can hear some of you saying right now it's like hey Akoto why don't you just you know make a cow farm and eat steak or you can turn the steak into hamburgers and that would be fine right and, and you're right that would be completely fine. But I did that in all the all Fabric 4. I did like hamburgers and stuff like that in All Fabric 4, and, and yeah, it's a great food source, and if you're doing this as just a survival world, then I would say go for it. You make yourself a cow farm, get a wheat field, and that's really all you need. You can have hamburgers, and, and you're good for the rest of eternity, basically, just eating hamburgers. So, But you know what? That's boring. I want to do something a little bit different, because we do have a lot of options with Croptopia that I haven't really gone into before. Uh, one of them is this. So if you notice, I built this over here. This is a fish trap that uses a fisherman's strainer. You have to put in bait. And of course, I've got a bait pot here to make the bait last a little bit longer. But this will catch you fish and enchanted books and, you know, leather and stuff like that, just like regular fishing will. But you can actually turn these raw fish into sushi. Not this sushi, this sushi. There's two different sushis in the pack. One's from Aquaculture 2, one's from Croptopia. Notice the one from Aquaculture 2 is, you know, two, two little meat shanks. So it's not great. This one, though, is five meat shanks and a bunch of saturation, which is really nice. Now, the sushi is real simple. You take a raw fish fillet and some seagrass to make sushi. Okay, that's simple enough. This one is... Any kind of raw fish, basically raw cod, salmon, tropical fish, or puffer fish, seagrass, and rice, and that will make you this sushi, which is much, much better. It's actually better than steak. So it's a really good food source to actually have here. So we have that. So that's one option is sushi. But the other option is this, the burrito. It also gives you five shanks, but gives you more saturation, and it takes a tortilla, rice, black beans, and tomatoes. 
Now, we got tomatoes, black beans, and rice growing, so that's fine. How do we make tortillas? That's real simple. We need flour, a frying pan, and a water bottle. Also very, very easy to do. And flour is literally just barley, oats, corn, wheat, whatever to make flour out of. So we've got plenty of wheat growing, so we can make plenty of flour. So if you notice over here, we've got... We've probably got... How much wheat do we have, anyway? We've got... Oh, we've got plenty of wheat. So we could actually... We could do... We do that and that, and we make... 32 flour. And flour you can make a bunch of stuff with, so it just kind of depends on what you want to do. You can make, you know, raisin oatmeal cookies if you want to do that. You can make fried chicken, which is also a pretty good meal. Um, scones, actually. We've got everything we'd need for scones except eggs, really. So if we've got a chicken farm, we could make scones. Um, we can also take our burritos with flour in a cooking pot and make chimichangas, which are even better. So, I mean, we could do either burritos or chimichangas, so we could be like, you know, straight up Danny Trejo, or we could be Deadpool. It just kind of depends on how we feel. You basically just cover burrito and flour and cook it. Now, that's not how you make a chimichanga, obviously. I'm I'm from the area where things like burritos and chimichangas and tacos were, were made famous. That's not how you do chimichangas. But in Minecraft, that's how you do chimichangas. So so we could definitely do, do that. And after we're done sleeping, I just noticed something down here, is we actually do have one level. Now, there is sort of a... Uh, like an RPG leveling system in all of all the mod seven, kind of. So if we click here, we actually go to our knowledge of death. And right now, I've got bone collector and jailer. So my chances to get an enchanted key to be able to warp back to my death spot and get uh, my stuff back um, is uh, is a little bit better than normal because I've got that. And this drops more bones. Which is actually pretty good. It's 30% chance to find special drops on the undead. Um, which is not bad. So we could go, um, you know, Memento Mori, Experience Retained on Death. We could go Scribe, Rune Inscriber, Shadow Walker, which is kind of fun. Um, Treasure Seekers, so we can find rare structures instead of villages, which is fun. Voodoo Poppet. <laughs> I don't know exactly what that one is. Disenchanting, Alchemist, a bunch of other stuff. I think I'm going to go, actually, if I can. Um, so that's the compendium. Whoa. Hang on. <laughs> Hit the wrong thing there. So I can convert zombie villagers to villagers by using the Ankh, and you can make an Ankh in the game. I think I'm actually going to... Hmm. What do I want? I think I actually want the second level of Bone Collector. So we're going to get that. So we have a 60% chance to find special drops on the undead. Um, and I think we've got another point, too. So we could actually do... Could we go to another level? We could go another level. Ooh. I like that, and I think I'm going to stick with that. Because that's, that's really good. And then you have an alignment of, like, evil and good. Which is kind of cool. So, interesting little thing that is in all of Mod 7 that I haven't really played a whole lot with. But, um, yeah, it's kind of fun. So getting back to the issue at hand here as far as food goes, we've kind of got ourselves pretty well set up since we've got everything we need to make burritos and or chimichangas, which is what I think I'm going to have our main food source be. Uh, we've got some sugar cane growing over here. We've got some bamboo on the outskirts. Um, these lights, by the way, these garden lights are really cool, and they're they're really nice, and they're really easy to make too. So if you go over your garden lights... It takes three iron nuggets, a piece of glowstone dust, and an iron ingot, and that's it, to make these these uh, garden lights, which are great. Um, and then I went ahead off off camera, and I put up some of these, this street lamp post. This is from Macaw's Lights and Lamps, that I think look really good on this particular little thing. So you've got a cut deep slate, deep slate bricks pillar, say that five times fast, uh, just some brick wall, and then the light on top of it. But then over here, I did go ahead and switch this out to the strip mahogany wood to make it look a little bit more like what it looked like in real life. And then I've added in these andesite wall railings and the modern andesite wall with one of these on top. And I think that looks really good and looks very close to how it actually looks in real life. Put a couple of garden lights underneath over here just to kind of give it a little bit more light at night. And I think, I mean, our log house, from the outside anyway, looks really good. I'm really happy with the way that this turned out. It turned out better than better than I imagined it, which is very rare when that happens. Uh, as you've heard me say in other series before, it's very rare when the things that are in my head or in real life come out looking as good in um, 
Minecraft as they do. Now, I might actually change out all these logs for, like, solid logs, so it looks, you know, a little less like individual logs and more like one big one. That might be the big change that's on the outside here, but the interior is where we need help. Because the interior is still kind of bare. I did go ahead and make a sink, so we have an infinite water source. And this is going to be sort of our kitchen area. And I made these, which are the dynamic edge lights from the Simply Light mod. So if you go over here and check this out, the Simply Light mod. So you've got luminant blocks, which are basically made with glowstone, some type of polished, polished stuff, and redstone dust. Um, you can make slabs out of them with like that which is cool you can make panels out of them out of slabs so you can basically make light panels and then you can do like fixtures or you can do these dynamic edge lights now if you remember from the picture of this the kind of lighting they had in there looked sort of like fluorescent lights along the way so i put in those there and then i've got some redstone lamps in the ceiling with these dark oak uh, glass trap doors on top of them um, to let the light in. So we've got plenty of light in this area. And I may move these around a little bit, but that's where I kind of like them. So, so we need to work on the interior. And a couple of things we need to do, obviously, is we need to get more into cooking with block, for blockheads. We need to get the cooking for blockheads um, uh, uh, stove. We need to get the cooking table. We need to get some you know, counter space and things like that. Once again, in the pictures, the beds actually that are in the back are laid out exactly like this but they're sort of on top of storage so they, they had to when they were making this house in real life they had to be very opportunistic and very non-traditional where they put things like storage and cupboards and stuff like that so they put storage under the beds which kind of makes sense so i'm thinking if we do this custom bed or we do something like the slab bed we can put some of the stuff from uh, one of the furniture mods on here. So like Mr. Crayfish's furniture mods, mods that he's got, these all these furniture mods, which are just, it's just so cool. I love that this is in here. This was an old fabric tour as well. And I loved it then and I love it now. So I'm thinking we can do things like um, maybe a couple of birch cabinets that we can put underneath that, or I mean, even maybe diorite cabinet. I'm not sure what yet, um, but we can put cabinets down and then we put the slab bed on top of it and it would look a lot like what they have in real life. If we go into the uh, Builder Crafts and Additions, we've got some other options in here that we can take a look at too. So we've got diorite counters, we've got shelves, bookshelves. Bookshelves are gonna be fun. We'll definitely want some of those. These support brackets. We've got a bunch of different stuff that we can sort of play around with here uh, as far as interior decoration for our, um, for the interior of our house here. And of course we've got the white sofa, which is great. So the first thing I think I want to do is try and figure out exactly where the different rooms are going to be, because I think the the storage room is going to basically end right here. And we're going to use a lot of this redwood, these redwood planks and slabs and stairs and stuff on the interior, because once again, from the pictures, the interior of these, um, the interior of this building is very much like a, a Redwood-centric because of the way that they, they put and hollowed it out and then they sort of sanded it down and polished it. And it comes out with that. So we're going to use a lot of this in the construction of our different stuff. So we're going to have to move this light one back, get some Redwood planks, and sort of puzzle out where we want everything to be. So let me grab some materials, move this over one, and we'll go from there. All right, so I think I've actually got it puzzled out now. So if you open the door here, you'll see we step into sort of like a foyer area, which uh, in the pictures that I'm able to tell, you've got sort of like this little foyer where you're going to have a couple of just basic things sitting around, like maybe a couple of tables or something. And you move into what's going to be like a living room. We'll have a couch along here, uh, like a couple of tables, maybe some bookcases and things like that. We'll move over these lights too, so they're a little bit more centered, I guess. Um... And then the kitchen is the sort of the biggest area of the whole thing as far as just square footage goes because you've got just so much stuff that you're trying to pack into the kitchen. You've got like the sink and the refrigerator cabinets. Um, for us, we're going to have like our furnaces and stuff in here. So we kind of need to have this be a fairly sizable area, especially on this wall over here um, because we're then going to have uh, like cabinets and shelving and all sorts of different stuff on this particular wall. Uh, bedroom. 
not all that big. It's going to be fairly fairly small with the two beds here. Uh, once again, bookcases, cabinets, other things there. And then finally in the back, sort of like your little storage area, which in real life, this just goes out to another door that goes out into the backyard. But in our particular case, just goes into the storage room where I've put some of this willow on the back. I'm not sure if I like it yet or not. Well, I guess we'll see. Uh, it sort of doesn't really go with the rest of the build, but I kind of wanted it to stand out a little bit. So um, so that's what our layout looks like. Now it's just a matter of getting all of the things we need in here to be able to make this look a little bit better. So what do we need? We need a cooking table. So let's go ahead and... Whoop, new. There we go. Let's go ahead and put that over there. Let's put the fridge over there. We've got the sink. Um... Hmm. Counter, sure. Cabinet, yes. Uh, kitchen corner, we don't need. Oven, we do need. Uh, tool rack, yes, absolutely. Um, toaster, maybe. Possibly. I'm not sure yet. Uh, spice rack, yes. Fruit basket, yes. And then we got a preservation chamber, an ice unit, and a heating unit. So now we can get snow, so we could do things like make smoothies, too, if we wanted that. So at some point, we're going to be upgrading these to solar. For right now, we're going to have to just run them on coal, unfortunately. Or bamboo. I mean, we do have bamboo growing out there. We could always run it on bamboo. It just really takes a lot of bamboo to do anything with. So so that's what we've got. And then a few other things that we have that I've got over here is I've got these white ceiling lights. Those are going to go in the bedroom over here is we're going to have white ceiling lights instead of the the fluorescent strip lighting. So we're going to have white ceiling lights on this on the ceilings over here. Um, and then we also need to get bookcases, which if we go over here and do book, okay, uh, book uh, bookshelves, there we go. So we can do bookshelves, and we've got uh, choices of basically the basic bookshelves. I think this birch will probably look the best because it's the most contrasting color with the rest of the... With the rest of this, so we're going to go ahead and just sort of star that as well. So the birch bookshelves, we definitely want to do that. And then as far as tables go, we've got some options here. So we've got a whole bunch. So we've got the stuff that's from Buildercraft and Editions, and we have the stuff from Decoration, and we have the stuff from Mr. Crayfish's Furniture Mod. So we've got like a bunch of different options here um, that we can that we can choose from. I'm trying to figure out which one I like the best. So you know what? Let's go ahead and we'll put that on the shopping list as well. Um, these glass tables are very pretty. However, if you notice, if you click on it, nothing really happens. So it's kind of hard to say exactly how you make that. I'm guessing it's basically the round dark oak table plus like a glass pane or something, but I'm not entirely certain. So, and then we've got, let's see, we need one more standing light. Oh, that's, that's actually called a lamp. How about that? So lamp, white lamp from a cause lights and lamps. We'll go ahead and put that on the shopping list as well. Um, you know, some of these interesting other lamps that are like made of ice and sandstone and a few others that I'm kind of interested in, but not for right um, this second. I know I'm kind of going through here and sort of like hitting everything it seems like and you wouldn't be wrong if you think that because I'm just sort of this is how I do interiors is I just sort of grab everything that I think might look good and just sort of put it over here and then I build them and take a look at them and if they work fantastic if they don't oh well but this is how I do interiors I basically just grab a whole bunch of stuff that I think is going to look good in combination with everything else toss it in and then go from there and see actually how it does look. So sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. It just sort of depends on how I'm doing things. Oh, of course, that is sort of off kilter there, isn't it? Uh, well, it's fine. We're going to be using these, which are sleeping bags. So we can put those, I believe, on top of, yes. So that will look more like what they've got set up in there. So Okay, so we at least have that going for us, and we can make both of those right now. So now we've got two sleeping bags, so that's good. Let's go ahead and get all this out of our inventory for the time being. Um, and we'll just put those back in there too. So Okay, so let's go ahead and concentrate on what we were doing here. <laughs> uh, oven. We need, oh, we need glass. So we need sand, which we have plenty of. Let's get that. Uh, we're getting more coal. Six coal, sure. Put that in there. Hey, our cooking for blockheads is done. Let's cook up this glass. And while that's smelting up, let's see what else here. So the kitchen cabinet is a chest and some terracotta. We've got plenty of that. So let's grab two of those. 
Um, the kitchen counter is that, that, and that. So let's grab two of those. The fridge is a little bit more difficult. So let's make some iron doors. We'll make two fridges because we can put them one on top of another. Um, and then the cooking table takes the cooking for blockheads two, which takes two diamonds and two crafting tables. So if we do this, we can do that. And there we go. And there's our cooking for blockheads two book, which means we can make the cooking table. Ta-da! So now we have the cooking table, the kitchen counter, the kitchen cabinets, and the refrigerator. So we have everything except our oven, which we can get right now. And just like that, we have an oven. All right. Feeling better about life. So now we have, we have all this stuff. We kind of need to figure out where we want to put it all. So in the... Oh, my God. It's so slow to do this. <laughs> Doink. Okay, so now in the um, pictures, it looks like they have the refrigerator on this side over here. So we're going to go ahead and start with that first. So fridge number one, fridge number two. There we go. Our refrigerator is ready to go. Um, let's see what else we want to do here. So the sink, I believe, was pretty much right next to the refrigerator. So there we go. There's the sink. How do we want to do this? Uh, let's go ahead and do the kitchen counters uh, here and here. Let's do the oven, which I believe looked like it was sort of over here. And then we'll put the cooking table there. So that should connect the entire multi-block. So we don't, obviously we don't have anything in here right now, so we can't really do much with it. But we now have an entire multi-block set up here. That looks pretty good. I kind of like that. Now we're going to change the color of all this, obviously. In fact, you know what? Let's see if we can dye it right now. Do I have... I do have bone meal. Uh, so I do have access to white dye. So let's see if this still works the way I think it should. It does. So that, 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 and that... And then that, and we need one more. Of course we need one more. We, we couldn't need three more. We need one more. So eh, you, you get in there. You give me the white dye. And there we go. And there we go. And now everything sort of matches. So that's kind of that's kind of fun. And then we're just going to do a crash can right there. So that's that works out. So now we've got everything along this side. We can move all of our food from our main storage into this now because we've got... Plenty of storage in the count in the kitchen counter uh, <laughs> and the thingies. The kitchen counter. We've got storage. We've got plenty of storage in the refrigerator. We can put stuff up here, but once again, it's not going to connect, unfortunately. So I don't think there's a lot we can do about that. We've got our oven and we've got our cooking table. So all of this, so our kitchen is now pretty much done, except for some just decorations and a few other random things here and there. So we'll do that as well, but. Uh, I want to go ahead, now that we've got that taken care of, and move on to the bedroom. Unfortunately for the bedroom, we do need to get some more wool. So we need to go out in search of sheep, which I believe there are some over here. And we've definitely got to work on this area up here. So basically what we're going to do is we'll have the mountain sort of come down from there to make it look like this is sort of a more natural kind of cliff face. And then down here, we'll just have this pour into like a pond. Uh, which we'll build at a later time. <laughs> so pay no attention to that. It's going to be changing. Um, but we need to go find some sheep. And like I said, I think, if I'm not too much mistaken, there were... That's a bear. Nope, nope, not a sheep. Definitely not a sheep. That is that is a bear, and that is not not friendly. So we're, we're leaving that there. Um, <laughs> that's new. Uh, okay, so let's go see if we can find some sheep over here somewhere. There's some. Perfect. And we'll have to make a sheep farm, too, at some point. But for right now, we can just go ahead and run over here, shear these guys, get all the wool we need, in theory, anyway. So there's that one, that one, that one. I saw another one over here. Come here. Give me your skin. That sounded really bad. Don't, don't, yeah. Um, I'm going to get some wool, and I'll be back. All right, and after a lot of experimentation, we've settled on this. So the diorite was just ugly as sin, so I, I took it out. <laughs> uh, so we've got these birch counters, a uh, shelf on each side, a cabinet on each side, and a birch bookshelf on each side, with a little bit of splash of color here. It's just to break up sort of the white and red textures. So we might change those out a little bit too. But So we've got those set up like that, 
And then we'll probably put something there. I'm just not sure what yet. But these are the sleeping bags from Comforts. It's just three wool to make a sleeping bag. And those fill in very nicely for the beds that they've got on the... Uh, on the the pictures from this so i think that actually looks pretty good now so let's see how these look so if we go ahead and set these down right here hey look at that and we can even sit on our sofa in our little <laughs> living area here that's that's neat i like that and then just alt to get up and then we can go ahead and put some tables on each side so let's actually get these tables made too while we're at it and just sort of um see how that's gonna look all right so we've got the tables in out here we got some tables in out here i think think we're going to put in some paintings and one of the nice things i just noticed about this you can choose your paintings that is amazing so if we wanted to put a gun on the wall we could do that um we've got a bunch of up and down paintings here and we've got all of these so oh, that's that, yeah that's homey um okay so we've got a bunch of different things that we could pick here. So let's go ahead and we'll put this down and see what we want as far as... Oh, these are cool. We've got a, Steve or Hero Brian. <laughs> we could have a painting of Hero Brian on the wall. That's fantastic. Um, we could go with something simple like a tapestry. We could go with here, bamboo. That's neat. Um, what else we got here? We've got axolotl or no, a puffer fish. Big puffer fish, little puffer fish. Uh, we've got cactus. That's been fun. So we've got a whole lot of different options for paintings that we can put up in here, which I, I really like. I think that's a really, that's just a neat idea. I'm glad that they they did that. So if we go over here, we could do that. <laughs> so I'm, I mean, oh my god, I could play with this forever. Um, let me get some paintings up, and we'll see what we're gonna go go from there. So now that we've gotten a start on our home here and interior decoration, I've moved some stuff over. So we've got it looking a little bit more like a home here. And we've got some really cool paintings on the wall. I <laughs> really like that. I like how they turned out. So now we've got all that taken care of. Uh, yes, okay, good. We're good. Um, I feel like... Ooh, pumpkins are coming in. Oh, our wheat's coming in too. Nice. I feel like doing a little bit of exploring. Because if you look over at the map here... You can see that I've gone down here to the south a little bit, but I haven't gone any further over here. And that over there looks like another one of those towers. So I definitely feel like doing a little bit of exploring. So, But before we do that, we need some better tools. And more to the point, we need some better armor. Because this armor is, is just not good. So um, let's see what we can do about that. So in between episodes, I created a boots template. So if we do templates... We've got a katana template, we've got boots, we've got, oh, uh, where's my chest plate? Chest plate, helmet, and pants. So there's all those, there's our katana template. So what we're going to do is if we look over here, we do have a little bit of crimson iron, but we also have enough platinum to make a full set of platinum armor. And we are totally going to do that because we need we need better armor so we've got our platinum legging plates that's done and this does use up the template by the way so just be aware of that so we're going to get ourselves a platinum chest plate and this armor is going to be as good as if not better than diamond so we're going to get some platinum boots and we're going to make ourselves a platinum helmet and as far as the katana we don't need platinum, but we do have the crimson iron. So we're going to grab our crimson iron, and we're going to grab bamboo for our handle, because it actually gives it more durability. We now have a crimson iron katana with 8 attack damage. So it's basically almost as good as, if not a, a very close to being as good as diamond sword. So, And it also has the malleable on it, and it also has hard, so it is a little bit slower. But we now have a much better weapon. So 8 attack damage versus 6, if we lose the sweeping edge, oh darn. But now, now, we're looking pretty snazzy <laughs> in our platinum armor with our crimson iron sword. And all of this can be enchanted, and once it's enchanted, it's just going to get to the realm of the stupid at that point. It's just going to be dumb, the amount of stuff that we have on it. So we have all of our new stuff. Let's go exploring and see what we can find over here.
So moving along, we've actually landed in somewhere called the Shrubland, and then over here, yeah, this is still the Shrubland, but we found these this interesting dead logs, so I'm going to go ahead and grab those, and it actually, does it drop a, it drops dead saplings, that's very interesting. So I guess we can grow more dead logs, because that makes total sense. Yeah. All right, so let's, well, I'll go ahead and grab some of those up, I guess. And then, uh, let's see, where should we make our way to? Um, oh, look, bees. Look, bees taking damage. Let's go over this way and see if we can find anything of import over here. And now we're in a snowy taiga, which means spruce, which means I need to get some spruce. <laughs> because spruce is one of those things that's just such a all-around good building material that we should probably get as much of this. Let's actually get enough to make some super super cool trees. Which is, that's plenty. Okay, cool. Neat. Alright, so cool. Let's keep going. It's a sign. Hero Brian was here. Or maybe it's just lava pouring down from there. I mean, it could be either. I, you don't know. It could be. Whoa, what is that? Okay, we've got to go check that out. I don't know what it is, but I, I want it. <laughs> I, I want it, and therefore I will have it as soon as we get this coal. So yeah, so this totally looks like some sort of wizard tower. So I am definitely all about seeing what's in there. Maybe we can get a free enchanting table or something out of it. That would be just awesome if we could do that. Save our diamonds. Um, hey, look, more chickens. Because feathers are a thing we need in this pack. Which is kind of odd, but... Oh, and the lag is real. <laughs> Only problem with a pack that has this many mods in it is you do tend to get a fair amount of lag sometimes. So, oh, there goes eagles. What's up, guys? <laughs> Alright, so how do we get in here? Is this just is this just another Dungeon Tactics dungeon? Really? Huh. Alright, well... At least we can go in and take a look. What's at the top? Um, nothing. Okay, so... Uh, do we go in? Do we risk it? Do we risk... Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if we risk it or not. You know what? Let's go. Let's, let's go in and see what's down here, at least. Let's at least see what's going on down here. Oh. Maybe this isn't it. Found the door. <laughs> no problem with generation there, uh, Minecraft. <laughs> and hey, two free chests. We'll just take whatever's in here. How about a carrot and some more torches? Always good. Ender pearls, absolutely. Uh, potion of regen, nice. More torches. Um, don't really need the rest of this stuff. Okay. Well, hey. This is already looking up, and iron bars, which we can always use, since there's so many different things that use them. Ooh. Ooh, I hear bang big angry things. Big angry things I hear. Aha! That's so much better. <clears throat> Bye. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen a Dungeon Tactics dungeon that looked quite like this before. I mean, I know they're fairly randomly generated, but I've never seen one with this flooring before. It's kind of interesting. Oh, hello. Kill the monsters, get a treat. What do we got? More iron, more bones. Uh, fire protection one, not really worth it. Golden sword, golden axe, meh. Oh yeah, go after them. Get them, get them. Beat they ass. Ow. You know what? Discretion being the better part of valor. As always, I bravely ran away, away. When Danger reared its ugly head, he bravely turned his tail and fled. There you are. Hi. How you doing? Ow. Okay, that hurt a lot. Okay, time to time to go. 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 Yep, you're burning now. Yep, keep burning. 
Follow me and burn. Yep, a little bit more. A little bit more. A little bit more. And down you go. And you didn't drop anything. That sucks. <laughs> oh well. Can't have everything, I suppose. And we have now come into the land of spruce, apparently. So, um, yeah. Let's, uh, let's check across this and see... Oh, see where the lag is! I found the lag! Um, so let's check across this and see what there is around here. If we don't find anything really quickly, we'll probably just turn around and head home. But I was just curious to see what else was around here. And maybe there's something on the other side of this. So let's find out. What is this? Stripped Hellbark Log? The Burnt Forest. Well, that's cool. What is this stuff? Is this black sand? Ooh. And black grass. That's This is like goth's dream biome right here. <laughs> black sand, black grass, black logs for your black soul. And after a couple of harrowing experiences, we are back. And as you can tell, it's the dead of winter, <laughs> which is... I think it's actually winter going into spring now, so uh, we got a couple of things out of those Dungeon Tactics dungeons, and we even came home with a friend! As you can see, we now have Spartacus. Spartacus the horse, since I got a saddle and I found some diamond horse armor in one of the chests in the, the Dungeon Tactics dungeons. So, yeah, that's we're doing pretty well. Uh, and then I made some improvements to the house. Notice we got some... we used some of that gothwood <laughs> to make some hellbark slabs in here which i think go along pretty well with things um added in the lamps of course and the kitchen floor because we need a kitchen floor and then we put on the wall over here we've got some more storage these builders crafts and addition stuff are actually really nice looking so that's the same ones we used in here for the the bed frames but we put those in and then i made two silver furnaces which come from the Iron Furnaces mod. As you can see, we're smelting up some resources here, but the nice thing about these is they actually have this. So you have basically auto outputs and inputs. You can choose where they're going. So I've got this set up so you've got the inputs up here and the output is in the center. So both these furnaces are feeding into this. So it's it's kind of like an auto smelter setup, but it's still a little bit manual because i got to put coal in and then throw everything in the barrels up here. So yeah, I think, uh, I think this is actually coming along pretty well. And I'm really happy with the house and I'm really happy with the the gear we've got now all of this platinum armor isn't quite as good as i thought it would be it's still much better than what we had before um so yeah i think we're we're doing pretty well i found somebody else on youtube who's actually doing an all the mod 7 series um and that is super turtle and there's going to be a link down in the description below to, to take you over to his channel so he's doing uh, the same mod but he's doing some totally different things that i'm doing he's playing a lot with potions he's got a very interesting, very cool looking house that he's built. He's using Tom's simple storage rather than the simple storage network. So he's he's sort of diverged from where I've gone and he's going in a total like a totally different direction in this, which is actually really cool because it shows you how much is in this mod in this mod pack that you can actually play with. So I highly encourage you to go over there and check out his series as well. I'm gonna go ahead and have a glass of wine here on my couch around my my wonderful, you know, Art Nouveau kind of, <laughs> kind of living room that I've got here, um, and uh, yeah, ah, wine, <laughs> ah, much better. <laughs> and nothing like like having a glass of wine on your couch after a hard day. As long as you're over twenty one, kids don't drink. Um, but I do hope you enjoyed this episode. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me on this. Make sure on the way out the door you click like and subscribe. If you have not subscribed yet, hey, if you want to subscribe, fantastic. It always, always makes me happy to have more people to share everything with. If you don't want to subscribe, though, don't worry about it. I do this for fun. I do this for entertainment. I'm just glad to have you along with me on the journey. But whatever you do tonight, make sure you go out, play some games, have some fun. I'll see you all again real soon. Have a good night, everybody.